r slash ask reddit, who are some celebrities who survived a brush with death. Her partner was killed in the tsunami. How awful. I can't imagine the trauma she's dealt with. Fiona Shaw, Aunt Petunia in Harry Potter, is married to Sonali Durrani Yagla, an author and economist who also survived the 2004 tsunami, but lost her entire family, including her husband, her parents, her best friend, and her children. Travis Barker was in a pretty horrific plane crash in 2008. And Mark Hoppus surviving cancer. Their new song One More Time very clearly talks about these horrors they've endured. It shouldn't take a sickness or airplanes falling out the sky. Ed Harris nearly drowned filming The Abyss. He was so traumatized by the experience that he still refuses to talk about the movie. After watching The Abyss and Titanic, I swear James Cameron wasn't going to be satisfied until he got footage of somebody drowning live on camera. They're amazing films, but the things he put those actors through. Meanwhile, the rats that they drowned for real to demonstrate how they could breathe underwater lived long and happy lives. The documentary about making the abyss is almost better than the actual movie. Helena Christensen. Model, was that girl in Chris Isaac Wicked Game music video, she was nearly a victim of Yvonne Milat whilst backpacking around Australia. He is one of Australia's worst serial killers. She only survived after a truck stop to help her and a friend who were at that point running from Milat along the road. Milat took off when the truck driver stopped to help them. He was eventually caught for killing seven backpackers. This was the killer that was the inspiration for the movie Wolf Creek. Shit, ID never heard this before. Roy Horn of Siegfried and Amp, Roy got dragged off stage by the neck by a tiger on his 59th birthday. Stephen King almost died from a car crash in 1999. Like, it was really close. He was run over while out on a walk by a distracted driver. King later purchased the 1985 Dodge Caravan that hit him for $1,500. He planned on charging people a small fee to destroy it, and donate the money to charity. His wife talked him out of it. Benedict Cumberbatch and a couple of friends were held at gunpoint, made to beg for ransom, and stuffed into the trunk of a car back in 2004 in South Africa. Could have gone very wrong for all of them. I can't imagine he would even fit in the trunk of a car, that dude looks like he's 8 feet tall. Didn't BC also have a separate kidnapping attempt while traveling in Asia? Isla Fisher. She almost drowned while she was filming her own stunt in Now You See Me simulating a magic trick in a water tank. That one's awful because her character was staging the trick going wrong, so how do you even tell someone no, really? I can't believe no one has mentioned Harrison Ford. Besides other aircraft fuck-ups, he's legit survived crashing both a helicopter and a plane. That's what I came to check. I don't know how they let that guy near more planes. Harrison is flying again, get the paramedics on standby, not for Harrison, everyone else. Fly, yes. Land, no. And graciously told people not to blame the tiger. Jeremy Renner. He fell underneath his snowkit when pulling a truck out. It started to roll towards his nephew so he tried to jump on to stop it. He missed and got mangled. 38 bones, 14 of those his ribs got broken. So close to death but he managed to pull through. He was very lucky to survive all that. Amelia Clark nearly died from a brain hemorrhage. Twice mind you. And she felt pressure to hide how bad her health was because she was still fairly early career. Aubrey Plaza had a stroke when she was 20. My friend had the same thing happen and wasn't so lucky. Dropped dead while he was on the phone with his brother. Human body is mighty resilient while mighty fragile. Romaine Grisjean. How he got out of that crash alive is nothing short of a miracle. And he was barely injured too, it was unreal, Link. Keith Richards crashed a jet ski and fell out of a palm tree in the same week. That day, the hate for the halo stopped. Seth MacFarlane was scheduled to be on the flight that hit the north face of the North World Trade Center tower and absolutely should have died in 9-11, but both had a hangover and was given the wrong time by his travel agent, and therefore he was spared. Marky Mark was originally on one of the flights but changed his plans. And then being the sensitive man that he is, said that he would have been able to beat the terrorists and get to safety. Link. Leonard Skinner drummer Artemis Pyle survived a plane crash, to then survive being shot by a farmer as he went for help. Friggin' farmer's man. Waylon Jennings was supposed to be on the plane with Buddy Holly. He gave up his seat to the big bopper, who had the flu. They only chartered the plane because they wanted clean underwear. Legit, they'd figured out they'd beat the tour bus by enough time to use the laundromat properly and get an extra night of sleep in a real bed, not on the bus. 
Tommy Alsup lead guitarist, Waylon was bassist, gave up seat to Richie Valens. Johnny Cash was nearly disemboweled by an ostrich on his property. It kicked him and ripped his belly open with its talon. The leather belt he was wearing snagged it, probably saving his life. Was this before or after he started a fire that killed 50 endangered condors? Maybe the ostrich was trying to avenge its brethren. This was in addition to, like, the whole rest of his life. Rick Allen, Def Leppard, was involved in a car crash, in 1985, which ended up with his left arm amputated. However he still plays with the band with a modified drum kit. Rick Allen's drum kit setup, link. Rick Allen's drum solo in 2017, link. Not as famous, but the metalcore band The Ghost Inside was in a bus crash that unfortunately resulted in two deaths and the drummer Andrew Takashik lost his leg. He remarkably still plays with a modified kit as well. Gordon Ramsay recently had a biking accident that left the left side of his torso looking like Barney the Dinosaur. Remember to wear your helmet kids. The video he did after this was heartbreaking. To see a guy known for his give no fucks, take no shit attitude visibly shaken, you know it was a doozy of a fall. My roommate now wears a helmet no matter what. Looks dorky, but it'll save his melon. He also fell off a cliff into freezing water and almost drowned while filming. David Spade. He assistant broke into to his house and tried to kill him. The assistant used a stun gun on him. David managed to get away and locked himself in the bathroom with his shotgun. Cops came and arrested the assistant. Only got 5 years probation, community service, and a restraining order. Richard Hammond and Freddie Flintoff both had nasty car accidents while filming Top Gear. Terms like two-week coma and degloved head. That footage of Hammond's crash is wild. The car he was in fully flipped and carried on at full speed while upside down. And because of the type of car it was his head was fully exposed. I believe they said that if he had been any taller, he probably would have been decapitated by it. Mick Fanning. Australian professional surfer, attacked by a shark at Jabe Lib during a competition. Frank Euro, from My Chemical Romance, was dragged under his tour van when a bus hit it. We all need to be mindful of what kind of world we are going to leave behind for Keith Richards. Bob Odenkirk had a massive heart attack while filming the final few episodes of Better Call Saul. Two shots from the defibrillator didn't bring him back, it was only the third that did. Most of the time, if two haven't done it, then there's no saving the person. I was watching the audio commentary for the episode they were filming when it happens, and he talks about how he has no memory of that day either. He said how eerie it was to be watching these scenes and have absolutely no memory of filming them. Kevin Smith had a massive Widowmaker heart attack in 2018. Doctor gave him a 17% chance of survival. He made a full recovery, lost a ton of weight, and has been plant-based for a few years now to prioritize his health. He said he remembered his father having a heart attack and dying, and when he had his heart attack it scared the shit out of him dying like his dad did, so he cleaned himself up from it. Bear Grylls survived a fall with a faulty parachute. Fell something like 16k feet. Messed his brain up real bad, guy's been drinking his piss ever since. Eminem almost died from a drug overdose in 2007. From what I've read, Marshall's mom also gave him and Nate all kinds of drugs as they grew up. I wonder if he, Eminem, ever overdosed or came close as a child. Michael Schumacher. Although whether he's in a better position is questionable I suppose. Edit, being in 24H arc here is he in a better position being alive, it pains to think if he even knows he's Michael Schumacher and all that he achieved in his professional career. Not only that but to miss out on the achievements of his son who raced in F1 and won junior championships on his way there. Or to see his brother Ralph recently come out. Mental. Top athlete in most dangerous sport in the world. Gets wreck skiing. Richard Hammond has crashed at very high speed twice. Both times on camera. And both times Andy Willman said that footage is gold. We're putting it in the show. 50 Cent being shot 9 times in 2000. 0.05555 dollars per bullet. Dylan O'Brien got run over by a truck. Not just a little bit, either. It's a miracle he didn't die. Aubrey Plaza had a stroke at 20. Randy Travis managed to come back from a horrific stroke that all but killed him. Eddie Vedder, swept out to sea. Possibly also climbing scaffolding if that counts. Dave Gahan of Depeche Mode OD'd on heroin slash cocaine in 1996, and was dead for two minutes. He described seeing his body from up above and watching the medics work on him. He's never going to die. Even when he does I don't think anyone will believe it. 
TH supermodel Petra Nemkova, Link was swept out to sea during the 2004 Thailand tsunami. She clung to a tree for 8 hours listening to screams for help and watching bodies float by. Hey guys, it's Reddit Glitch. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Um, I just wanted to ask you guys to hit the subscribe button because according to my statistics, 98.8% of my viewers are not subscribed, which I think you should subscribe because it's free and uh, we're gonna have a lot more bangers in the future. So subscribe again. Thanks for watching. Bye.